All right, guys, today I'm going to teach you guys the Riffin versus Camille matchup today. And we're also going to be playing with the Conquer page, and we're going to combine that with Scorch. So in case you are wondering about the entire setup, we have the Conquer, we got Triumph, we got Alacrity, Last Stand, Transcendence, and then we have Scorch for the extra damage. <clears throat> So yeah, Camille matchup, in my opinion, pretty good matchup. It's uh, mostly a skill matchup. Whoever plays it better uh, technically wins. Um, although I do have something to say. Um, if Camille runs Ignite and TP, uh, she actually does have a slight favor. As long as she knows what she's doing, obviously. Let's see if we can actually get the Porsche over here. She's about to reach level 2 here. Nice try. Camille players will always try to cheese you at level 2. So, as long as you keep like a, a decent amount of distance, you should be okay. You're taking a, a tower hit, man. Nice try. But you're risking that. Okay. Let's maintain. Uh, let's uh, see if we can push this directly back into Camille now. So the trick against Camille to win this matchup is to Q directly into Camille's W. So you kind of want to wait out until she uses it. And then you trade. And technically if you do that right, she doesn't really stand a chance at trading you. Oh, you're going to take another one. I got you. She, uh, I'm basically positioning myself in in a way where if Camille jumps on me, that she would always, um, always get hit by the tower. So, sure, she can jump on me. I certainly don't mind it. But if you're going to jump on me, you're going to have to take another tower hit. So, <laughs> you know. Let's try. Lee Sin's going to kill you. And we got you again. See you later, Camille. Alright, let's go back. <clears throat> so, I think for this game specifically, I think I'm gonna going to be running the, uh, the Gore Drinker build. Personally thinking about it. And the main reason for that being is because they have the all-in champs. They have uh, Camille, which is pretty annoying. They have Nocturne and Cannon, which are all very annoying, right? If we go for Gore Trinker, we can prevent getting one hit by these guys because we can heal up off of my Gore Trinker. So I'd say if you're looking for a strong late game right now in the current patch before Season 12, um, if you want a good late game, Defiant Sunner will grant you that. If you want to have like a strong early game and uh, focus around survivability, I would say Gore Trinker is the best way to do it. Like, Gore Trinker is pretty awful late game. Define Sonner actually is very strong late game, so. That's the bone play. Hit another trade. So this is going to push towards me. I think I'm going to see if I can take a CS here. Oh, well... I certainly do not mind if you trade me here, because that trade was a win for me anyway. You have no E, so you're dead. If I can give you one little bit of advice, some really good advice for the Camille matchup, and I hope this is going to change something for you guys. Um, Camille has a very, very, very long cooldown on E, right? So by default, if Camille uses E and she wins the trade, technically you still win if you all in again, right? Because Camille's passive is down for about, I believe, 20 seconds. Uh, Camille's E is on a cooldown of, I believe, like another 15 seconds. I'm a Camille main and I don't even know like the exact cooldown because I always play with like Transcendence and stuff, but uh, should be along those lines. But, um... Yeah, um, that's something to keep in mind when you play against Camille. If she uses E and the passive, if you lose, you still turn around, you all lane, you win, right? 
It's always a question with what the cooldown is from Camille, because some people like to play Camille with, uh, with cooldown reduction. Some other people play Camille with transcendence and stuff. So it's always, uh, it's always a question on like how long the cooldown of Camille's E is. It's always a question. Ooh, close. Very close. Alright. Let's see if we can grab a kill on him here. He's gonna try to freeze it, which is actually really bad for him. She tries to go for a W, so I trade myself into her. Like I said, in the Camille matchup, you want to directly hit your Q into her W, and you should always win. Because uh, her W has a weakness, she can't really cancel it, right? She trades again, I just pop my third Q. Oh, I could have hit like another auto. My bad. She misses the cannon, which is incredibly good for me. That's the bone plate from Camille. She can't really trade me because I got my fast Q coming back up. And that's another good trade. We can actually kill Camille right now within three seconds if we do this properly. Uh. Oh. Yep, got her. She messed up her E. We basically baited her into using her E, so... That was pretty successful. Now we can take a plate. And we go back. Nice. So yeah, you can kind of tell like how this matchup goes. It's pretty simple. You just Q into Camille all the time. And when she uses W. Uh, let's go for this. Contra Ward. Here we go again. So my uh, Scorch has done a total of 222 damage so far. Which is actually really good for considering we're like 9 minutes in the game. That's a pretty good chunk of uh, Camille's health bar. Uh, by the way, let me just check if it's on. Yeah, sure. Okay. Awesome. Good, here we go again. Trade her with my E. We can do this now because she doesn't have a, uh, a wall to jump towards. Lee Sin's on the way. We're about to get some plates for free here. Yep, got it. Nice. Uh, he doesn't have to stay. This is fine. So you see, she uses W again. I just simply... Uh, oh wait, that's my mistake. Wasn't supposed to get hit by this. Okay. I've got my Gorchen Canal. I think I'm going to drag the wave a little bit. Nice. So the reason why I do this is because if Camille decides to back to base now, and I back to base as well, this wave will push towards my tower, okay? And uh, this is like, um, if you can master this part of the laning phase, being able to drag down a wave, if you understand the concept of this, um, this is like something that you will see people only do when you reach like master plus. Like this is some serious advanced laning phase stuff. It's like out of... Out of all the elos I've played with, I've never seen anyone do this in Platinum elo before or anywhere like Low Diamond. I've never seen anyone do that before, so um, this is one of the advanced laning phase tricks. I can teach you guys some more uh, in the future games if you guys like. So now we're going to get the tower. Camille's trying to roam down to mid. I think I'm going to let this crash into the tower, so Camille's going to miss all of it. And we're just going to go for this over here. Good. 
Nice. So that's gonna... You see, like, the tower is taking down the wave completely. Which puts it heavily in my favor, because Camille loses the entire wave, right? Which gives me a, a huge advantage. Uh, quick questions. What is the setting that I use for the yellow health bar? Uh, quite simple. If you go down to the options, you go down to video, you go down to... Uh, where is it? This one. If you put colorblind mode on... Uh, everything will turn yellow. And you're probably going to ask, like, bro, why are you playing with colorblind mode? Well, the thing is, I'm not colorblind, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm using colorblind mode because of the people that are watching me. Some people, uh, there's a tiny few people that are actually colorblind, so that's why I do it for them. There's a, uh, that's actually a pretty fair amount of people that are colorblind, so that's why I use colorblind mode. Uh, why are you upgrading your W? The reason why is because the more points you put into your W, the faster you can clear, the more damage you do while trying to one-hit. And the lower amount of CDR on, you can have on W, so you can use it more often in teamfights. I value that a lot more. Oh, I show myself. Too bad. Okay, let's go back top lane. Let's take down this wave. Hey, wait, there's a Camille here. What is he doing? Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate it, man. I love it so much when... Um, when... People are trying to get the jungle camps, even though they are losing already. Because if I push lane like this, I will eventually rotate towards the camp. And usually I can push very fast. Like as Riven, you have the benefit of being able to clear super fast. So your opponent can never do that. I love it when they try though. Nice. Well, I'm going to leave that tower the way it is. We're going to be uh, moving up to the wolves here. Uh, well, never mind. There's no camps either. Let's take this stuff. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Just checking up to see if I was doing the camp. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, okay. I, th I think I'm personally, um, I'm thinking personally about pushing down the lane and just ro rotating down to mid, actually. Uh, I can't really dive that. It's too much CC. Blue buff is spawning in about five seconds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. We're going to take the blue buff now. This was mine. Nice. Thankfully, there's no Camille that tries to steal it, because if she tried, then she would probably die to me, so... Oh, well... I got you. The beauty is that I blocked her E, so she couldn't run away anymore, so she had to face me the way. Even if she used her W, I would still kill her in the end. Got it. Let's move back top lane. Nocturne is currently behind me, so... Gotta be a little careful. Uh, yeah, there's a Nocturne on my back here, so we're gonna back off now. So this time... I'm thinking about going for Ghostblade this game and then building a Hydra eventually. I'm think personally thinking about just going for the snowball build. You see, like, my team is... Um, well, I mean, bot lane is 
definitely not having a good time. Mid lane, uh, however, mid lane, also decent. Lee Sin's having a good time. I think if I go for Ghost Blade and Hydra and we start snowballing top lane, I think I can carry the game together with Lee pretty easily, actually. This guy's dead. Yup, you're dead. Yup, got you. So Nocturne could be here. Gotta keep it in mind. Uh, maybe there is another camp I can take. Hmm. Oh, that's gonna crash in. We can flank mid lane actually. Yeah, they're all dead. Or maybe not. Okay. Well, I can maybe walk around and then see if I can delete them on their back. Maybe. You. Thank you. Unfortunately, this Nocturne is getting away. I had to be a little careful uh, trying to fight him. Let's go down to uh, to Bala and we're going to be taking some waves. Alright. We'll just simply take this wave. We'll take up the, uh, the next wave and then we go back. And I think we're going to go for... E I'm thinking about going high chop, but at the same time, I need to have death stuns. Might eventually consider it. Hey. Okay, let's make our... Let's go back. What we can also do to make things easier is maybe going for a Death Sense. Uh, actually, maybe going for a Guardian's Angel, actually. But um, personally, I think I'm going to go for Death Sense now. <laughs> Change of plans. You know, Hydra, not bad at all. I can definitely, like, uh, kill people quite easily with it. Um, but um, I need armor. Because Nocturne can all end me, right? Humble Nimbus. You're gifting to prototype. <laughs> hey, awesome, man. Thank you so much for gifting them. Uh, thank you so much for gifting Humble Nimbus. Thank you so much, man. Uh, wait. Let's go into the try. Gosh. Hey, Nocturne. Hello there. Oh, you're not. Uh, you're not interested? I love how he actually went in at the end anyways. I ain't got them both. Uh, we can kill this uh, Morgana easily. Eh, yeah, I want to get out of the CC. All right. Oh, whoops. <laughs> the best wall jump of the day. <laughs> The easiest one. I uh, let me let me bet. But the easy the easy one fails, and then the 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 big the best one uh, works. Oh, too bad. Wait, this wall jump is definitely possible, guys. I'm not kidding. There you go. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 
okay, really? <laughs> so I end up just jumping into like three, man. I've actually got baited incredibly hard. Beautiful. All right. Uh, what we're going to do now... The main issue is that these guys have all in, right? I got that in my mind. I think I'm just going to go for Guardian's Angel now. And then after Guardian's Angel, we'll go for Starex Gage. So that when the moment the, the moment they all in me, I should be able to tank up everything. Right? We can also go for Starex Gage first and then take a Guardian's Angel. But personally, for me, I always love Guardian's Angel more. Simply because you have the stopwatch, which allows you to make some good plays, you know? I love how Camille stops that. I love how Camille actually got a kill before. She was like 0 and 8. But she managed to like solo kill. So there's a guy over here somewhere. But I got stopwatch, so I think I can 1v3 anyway. Oh, there's currently four people topside. There's no camp here anymore. There's four people topside. Got it. I love how people always panic surrender. They die, they make a mistake, and then they're like, Okay, surrender. Okay, game's over. <laughs> Always. Nice ultimates. We won. They knew. Interesting. Hmm. I need a BF sword. Oh, whoops. Best launch up of the day. Uh, do you have a movement tutorial? Well, I got a, I got a, like, plenty of guides specifically focused around combos for Riven. Although they've been created a, a while ago, but they're still the same to this day, so. Hmm. The Drake is spawning in like 35. Alright, look, we got this one. Good luck! We've got Guardian's Angel now. So long I've wandered. Let's see if we can kill this cannon. They're grouping around Baron at the moment. Okay. Let's kill them. That's number one. Well, you guys stand no chance, man. I'm too tanky, like I said. They don't, uh, they don't have the all-in anymore because my build basically tanks all of it. So it's hard for them to do. Oh, wait. Did that land? Oh, wait. Yeah, I walked into it. Never mind. <laughs> oh, close. Close. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, let's go back to... Oh, wait. It's a Nocturne Ultimate. We got him. They can't run. Oh, hello there, Morgana. Oh, that did land. Wow. Oh, that also doesn't land. <laughs> what in the world am I seeing, actually? <laughs> uh... Wow. Morgana C, Morgana Q, Caitlyn W. Wow. Incredible, actually. Wow. Okay. Morgana Q really takes a long time, though. 2.5 seconds. Kaylin W, same story. You're stuck in it for a really long time. Also, the Morgana just he flashed away the moment we jumped into into this guy with my uh, yeah with my third Q jump. We jumped like incredibly well over here. We had such a good combo off, but they actually flashed away before I could even hit. You guys say we're gonna use like three seconds? Yeah, I believe it is 2.5 for three seconds. I believe 2.5 though. Like nowadays, nowadays it's so normal to be CC for years, man. Every champ in the game nowadays have, have like some kind of CC. My team is a little behind, just a little. There's uh, this guy over here. Got him. Man, the Q takes such a long time. Oof. A long time. I've never been a huge fan of playing against Morgana, to be honest. Never. Wait, smoke around here. So long, CC. CCs they can use. Got him. So, Cannon is like chilling and balling. Good luck, bro. Appreciate it. Oh, the traps of Caitlyn, in my opinion, are the most annoying things. So, Cannon is still chilling in bot lane. Huh. Okay. Got it. That's a red buff. <laughs> They're seeing me take like every single jungle camp. <laughs> oh man, the CC is taking so long, bro. <laughs> At least I got every single jungle camp. There you go. Fortunately, I get CC to death again. I'm going to replace this. I'll get mercs. <laughs> Alright, team. Kill him. Let's go, team. It's four against two. Cannon is top side. Easy kill for them. It's a 4 against 3, though. But they're struggling. Yeah. Wow. 
Okay. That's the fourth Drake. If this goes wrong, we're in trouble. Come on, team. Come on. Come on. This is the fourth Drake. Ah, they got the fourth Drake. Actually, wait. We're about to get the fourth Drake. I'm <laughs> totally blind. <laughs> wait. Actually, we had three Drakes. I thought that the enemy had four, three Drakes. Wow, man. I'm super blind. <laughs> I'm so blind, man. All right. For some reason, I saw I, I thought they had uh, three drakes. Well, I got you. See you later, Morgana. <laughs> ah, that's easy. It's too much, man. Okay. <laughs> I will not mess around with them anymore. You know what? Next time I see Caitlyn, I will simply <clears throat> do Baron. And that's it. You know you know what I find the most annoying about ADCs nowadays? Um Caitlyn as E. Wait, first of all, Caitlyn has traps to CC you. Then they have an E to dash away from you. Then they have heal for movement speed in case they want to run away from you. Then they have flash to run away from you. Then they have gale force to also run away from you. So they have like three different kind of dashes. They have, she has an heal and traps. And that's why I hate Caitlyn so much nowadays. It's the same thing with Kai'Sa, it's like the same concept. She has like two dashes on her own. She has Flash, three dashes. She has Gale Force, four dashes. She has Invisibility, you know. I don't really like the concept of Gale Force on ADC. It gives them too many dashes, in my opinion. Same thing with Ezreal, it's like the exact same concept. Gale Force, E, Flash... Another E, you know. I find them pretty annoying. They have more mobility than Riffin, and Riffin is like full mobility mode. Which is super strange. Got him. I think we could just run mid now. We could just run mid and finish. I don't know where Jin is going, but uh, there's a Baron, uh, Baron up here. I don't think that uh, Jin realizes that we're taking a Baron here. I think we might actually miss Baron now, probably. Oh, we don't lose it here. Okay, we got it. <laughs> you thought you could escape, huh? Let's try. Let's run down to mid lane. I'm pretty impressed with how, how hard this game actually is. This Caitlyn has 10,000 dashes. Dash number one. I can start counting dashes nowadays. She has her Gale Force, she has Flash probably, she has Heal, Traps. Alright, let's go. 
You just gotta jump on Caitlyn before she can dash away. Oh, I tried walking away from it. Well, we get Drake now. We got it. There we go. That's four. Da uh, that's four dragons. So if I jump on Caitlyn now, then she uh, she can have ten thousand dashes, but I will still kill her anyways. So good luck on this one. This is like the uh, the most satisfying part about late game when you get like four drakes, and it's like an inverno drake. They're blocking that. Wait. Oh, Anivia actually dies then. Oh, my Gorchink is totally useless now. Oh, I'm going to get trapped again. I hate Caitlyn and her dashes, and I hate her traps, and I hate Morgana this game. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, now we're in the late game, and Gorchinker is like absolutely awful late game. As you could probably notice, I used my Gorchinker. I hit like, I believe I hit like four men. I healed like, like what, like 300 or something? I barely healed anything with my Gorchinker, and it barely did like no damage. Like I think I did like less than a hundred damage with Gorchinker, or something in in the in the team fight. I'm just gonna sell Gorchinker now. It's totally useless. No point playing with with that now. There we go. We'll get to fine. And again, another red pot. I'm not gonna lie, it's such a long stalled game, man. We have, we have like four Drakes. We are 100% 10 times stronger than all of them are. I'm gonna sell that too. I'm gonna get Hydra. And there we go. Here comes the difference. We should be able to delete Caitlyn in one go right now. Should be able to push bit S4. Let's push another wave. There's about to be another team fight soon. All, just, all we need is like one more team fight now. Okay. We're staying out of vision so they can see us. We stay out of the vision, so they can't actually see me. Oh, they're walking back. They don't want to fight, apparently. Okay, here we go. Man, the enemy team is really scared. Okay, here comes the moment. That's another one. Oh, we failed to jump. That's unfortunate.
Yeah, good luck with your 10,000 dashes now. <laughs> My damage is high. <laughs> Finally. It's about time. Oh, we got hit by the Morgana Q. Got it. We need to get the uh, last air to arrive. Oh, whoops. Messed up. Either way, guys, this is Riffin Toppling. Thank you for watching today's YouTube vid. And I'll see you next time. Peace.